Well, every man does great, every great man does not leave the world only for his name to be carved on tombstone, but most importantly, on the hearts of people. The sage chief of Bafemi Awolowo's name still rings a bell in the minds of many who knew him. But what about those who did not see Awolowo's display of passion for his nation? Olawa co captures the creative and beautiful stage performance of Awolowo in Lagos. The stage is set and lovers of the theater are here to see Awo, the musical, as written and directed by Makinde Adenu. Even the vice president of Nigeria, the speaker of the House of Representatives, the governor of Lagos and many others are not left out. Alas, the performance hits the stage. Awu is a play that tells of the life and times of the late chief of Bafemi, Awulowo. Right on stage, narrating the story of Nigeria's independence brings so much joy as the citizens of the country, who were once under colonial rule, have gained total independence and of course, celebration is expected. Argument ensued as a result of ideological differences between Awu and Akintola, with the former getting arrested. Yet Awulowo, who was very peaceful, remained calm in the midst of the storm. But in all of the ordeals, HID Awulowo was a wife and mother who showed boldness in the face of tragedy. After months of darkness, a light finally beams as Awulowo was released from the prison in Ibejuleki and was even better respected. One of Awu's grandchildren, Shegun Awulowo, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabi Amila, Governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sonwolu, exalts the virtue of Awulowo. What this play has shown is that indeed it's time. It's not just, I mean, um, um, talking about entertainment. Um, it's really talking about our history and bringing about people that had, in fact, stood and brought the conversation called Nigeria. The voice, you know, the angelic voice of HIV, our Lord, if only this play had come in this time, Baba would have loved it. Congratulations. We all see our law, we see pictures, images of him in his famous brown car. But tonight, we witnessed that beyond that car, he was a man who wore many caps. For the actors who played Awo and the wife, the experience has made them better individuals. It has helped me actually to always calm down because that man was so calm. His ideologies were real and it has affected me positively. Sometimes we are seen as being silent, but yet we have so much power. So I believe a lot of women do not know the amount of power that we have. We have so much power. All we need to do is to be strategic. Rekindling history among the people was one of the major reasons for the play. I believe that we need to remind ourselves of the nature of leaders that we had in the recent past as we try to re as we try to reemerge in this country, as we try to rebuild this country. People of the new generation, they seem not to even know any of these guys. So they look for examples abroad. They look for examples of leadership abroad, as if leadership had not happened once in Nigeria. So it was an opportunity to bring it back. Bringing back uh, th theater culture in Lagos State is a moment of excitement to everybody. A phenomenal play as produced by the Duke of Shomolu has reminded all about the late chief of Bafemi Awolowo, who is still respected throughout Nigeria and Africa. <laughs>
The performance of Awo on this stage has brought to mind the power of art in reviving history in our society. It has as well shown that there can be a bridge between the younger and the older generation in understanding what has played out in building this nation, Nigeria. Allah Awakon, TVC News, Lagos.